Welcome to another episode of Storytime with Theater. Today we're going to be reading What If You Had T Rex Tea and Other Dinosaur Parts. What If You Had T Rex Tea and Other Dinosaur Parts with permission from Scholastic Inc. What if one day you woke up and felt a little bit strange? Then you discovered one part of your body was now very different. What if overnight a dinosaur's body part had taken its place? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Fact: T. Rex broke, broke and lost teeth when it bit into bones. But fossils preserved remains of its jaw bones show that this dino was always developing, replacing meant teeth. If you had a Tyrannosaurus Rex's teeth, you'd never need a knife to cut up your food. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Fact, a Velociraptor has had perfect meat-eater teeth pointy and sharp tipped with steak knife like jagged inner edge. If you had Velociraptor's sickle tipped toes, you could open presents in a flash. Stegosaurus say steg a sore us. Fact the Stegosaurus has had thin black plates sticking out of its back. Scientists believe they were most likely to show off and win a mate. If you had a stegosaurus spike tail, you'd always be ready to roast marshmallows by the campfire. Parasaurus. Say pair a sore a a bus. Fact: Scientists believe that the size shape of the pair a sore a a bus is ears, ear bones mean that this dino was the best at hearing deep sounds that carried over long distances. If you had a parasaur, para, a, a head crest, you could lead the school marching band. Inclosaurus, say inclosaur, inclosaurus. Some kinds of ankylosaurus had ankylosaurus had a built-in weapon, a stiff tail tipped with a club made of three or four fused armor plates. If you had an ankylosaurus's body armor, you'd be your hockey team's MVP. Br- Br- Branch Branchosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Fact. This dinosaur was named Brachiosaurus because its front legs are longer than its back legs. Brachiosaurus means arm reptile in Greek. If you had a a Brachiosaurus's neck, you could easily see over everyone else's heads at the movies. Sarah Zena Soros pronounce say Sarah Zen a Sor us. Fact because Sarah Zena Soros 
had such small teeth, it belly smashed up every leaf, every leafy mouthful. If you had a ther Therazinosaurus as claws, you would make the best hedge sculptures. Edmonthosaurus. Say Edmonthosaurus. Rat. Rare rocks that form from mud were in Edmonthosaurus is once lay that show its body was covered with small six sided scales. If you had a Edmonthosaurus is shovel shaped jaws, so you would win every food eating contest. Triceratops. Say triceratops. Fact: A triceratops brow bro, bro, horn showed its age. Babies had nubs. Teenagers had horns that curved up, and adults had very long horns that aimed forward. If you had a triceratops horn, you could carry all the groceries in one trip. Dilophosaurus, pronounced Dilophosaurus. Fat scientists think that Dilophosaurus had his bony head crest helped the dinosaur spot more of its kind. If you had a Dilophosaurus, his hind legs, you would be a star dancer. Spinosaurus, Spinos, pronounced by na sor -os. Fat, Spinosaurus's broad back, feet, long toes, and flattened toe claws probably kept it from sinking into the mud while hunting for a shallow water meal. If you had a Spinosaurus's tail, you'd, tail, you'd be a champion windsurfer. Dinosaur parts could be cool for a, a while, but you don't need a 30 foot long neck to reach your food or a super strong bite to eat it. Your voice sounds just fine without a long head crest to fine tune it, and you don't need a giant sail to be noticed. But if you could keep any dinosaur parts for more than a day, what kind would it be right be right for you? What if you woke up one morning with a dinosaur's body part instead of your own? If you suddenly had a velociraptor sharp toes, you'd be able to shed, shed, shred anything that came your way. If you sprouted a brachiosaurus's long neck, you could see over any cloud. And if you discovered how you had a parasaurolips head crest, you'd be the loudest kid at your school. Being part dinosaur would be pretty cool. So if you could have any dinosaur part body parts, what would you choose? Thank you for listening to today's episode. And don't let, forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.